What's going on y'all? I'm Czar and in this video we're going to take a look at what to do if your templates disappear from Studio One. So I went to edit my podcast, the Faders Up podcast, new song and under user you see I have no templates and I've created some templates for editing the podcast. So uh, before we look at how to correct this, let's kind of maybe think of what may have caused this. So first thing I was thinking was maybe a new update to Studio One did this. I know there was a new update that was available and I'd been procrastinating on installing it because it was just some bug fixes. Uh, but I can't remember if I did install it or not. So if we look at check for updates, there is an update available. So it's not a new update that did it. The other thing I think that may have caused this is there was a storm here uh, a few days ago that knocked my power out. Um, I do have an ACP that keeps power going to my studio gear for 30 minutes, I think. Uh, but the power did not come on within that time and everything did end up shutting down. Uh, so, and when that happens, I do have the chance to come up here and shut everything down myself. But I figured the power would be back on uh, between that time and it wasn't. So my iMac just uh shut down as if you you know pulled the power to it so i think that's might have what happened here uh so the first thing i'm gonna do is check my finder where i have my um templates and just make sure they are there uh studio one templates version five and yeah you see they are here uh, so i do have the template so that's good i didn't lose the actual templates so the next thing I'm going to check is under preferences, under locations. And you see my location here uh, shows uh, document studio one. So this is showing my internal drive on my iMac and I do not keep my sessions and files there. So this is uh, what I believe is the problem. So we're going to somehow or for some reason, studio one has kind of reset itself to point back to the default location of for studio one files but that's not what i use so uh, we're going to point this back to where uh it should be and we will see if that fixes the problem i believe that it should uh, so yeah documents studio one yeah that's not where i keep my files so i'm going to go to this external hard drive studio one and yeah just right there those and okay and then, you know, from there, we're just going to hit OK. And now I'm going to go back to new song. And you see I have my templates back. So that's what it was. Uh, the Studio One had reset it back to its default location for looking for those files. So if you ever have missing template templates under your uh, user section here in Studio One, that is how you will get those templates back. And right here is the template I'm looking for, Faders Up Season 3. It's the template I use for editing the podcast. And uh, if you haven't checked out the podcast, be sure to check it out. I've got a link in the description of this video. Uh, it's a podcast about pro audio and beyond. Uh, we talk about music production, mixing, recording, really anything under the pro audio umbrella, as well as some general topics as well. All right. If you enjoyed this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to continue to see content from me, then you know what to do. Any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. I invite you to check out my podcast, The Faders Up Podcast, a podcast about pro audio and beyond. Season three is now underway, and in this season, we'll be doing a lot of topics requested by listeners. So if you have a topic you want to hear discussed on the podcast, email us, DM us, or join us in our Facebook group, Faders Up Podcast, and let us know. And if you haven't checked out the podcast yet, I have a link in the description that'll take you to the page.